Hi, and welcome to KITV4 News Online. I'm Kenny Choi. The White House staffers have released President Barack Obama's long format birth certificate, hoping to end speculation that the president was not born in Hawaii. Now, here is that document, and as you can see, his full name, Barack Hussein Obama II, born August 4th, 1961, at 7.24 p.m. at Kapiolani Met Maternity and Gynecological Hospital, as it was known then. It lists his father's full name as well, his race is African, and his father's birthplace as Kenya, as we knew it. And then lists his mother's official name, Stanley Ann Dunham, though she went by Ann, and her official birthplace as Wichita, Kansas. Within an hour of the president's release of the long-format certificate of live birth, he held a press conference. Here's what the president had to say. Now, this issue has been going on for two, two and a half years now. I think it started during the campaign. And I have to say that over the last two and a half years, I have watched with uh, bemusement. I've been puzzled at the degree to which this thing just kept on going. Uh, we've had every official in Hawaii, Democrat and Republican, every news outlet that has investigated this, confirm that, yes, in fact, I was born in Hawaii, August 4th, 1961, in Kapiolani Hospital. We've posted the uh, certification that is given by the state of Hawaii on the Internet for everybody to see. People have provided affidavits that they, in fact, have seen this birth certificate. And yet, this thing just keeps on going. Uh, now, normally, uh, I would not comment on something like this, uh, because obviously there's a lot of stuff swirling in the press at any given day, and uh, you know I've got other things to do. But two weeks ago, when the Republican uh, House had put forward a budget that will have huge consequences potentially to the country, and when I gave a speech about my budget and how I felt that we needed to invest in education and infrastructure and uh, making sure that we had a strong uh, safety net for our seniors, uh, even as we were closing the deficit. During that entire week, the, the dominant news story wasn't about these huge monumental choices that we're going to have to make as a nation. It was about my birth certificate. Now, this also ends another conspiracy theory that uh, his birth certificate listed his religion as Muslim. The official certificate makes no mention of religion, and the president has, of course, said that he is a Christian. Meanwhile, Donald Trump, who gave the birther conspiracy new life, was quick to release a statement today. Trump was on his way to a speaking event in New Hampshire when the birth certificate was released. Today, I'm very proud of myself because I've accomplished something that nobody else has been able to accomplish. I was just informed while on the helicopter that our president has finally released a birth certificate. I'd want to look at it, but I hope it's true so that we can get on to much more important matters so the press can stop asking me questions. He should have done it a long time ago. Why he didn't do it when the Clintons asked So, again, Trump not backing down, but instead taking credit for the president's decision to release the official birth certificate document. Meanwhile, gas prices in Hawaii keep on going up. The state average for a gallon of regular gas is $4.56 this morning, a whole dollar higher than this time last year and two cents higher than the previous record, according to AAA. Meanwhile, President Obama is calling on major oil producers such as Saudi Ar Arabia to increase their oil supplies and lower prices, warning that the lack of relief would harm the global economy. Amber Lynn Hyden is now here with your island weather. Amber, are you proud of today's weather? Uh, you know what? Today's weather looking pretty good. We have an increase in trades, but also our surf, not too bad. It's not on the decline just yet. Still hanging on to head high sets for the north and south. Rather, it is on the decline, so enjoy what you can out there. Town and country swells coming through into the weekend. They will be on a small scale if you choose to head out there. Just keep in mind, box jellyfish are due in today as they were yesterday, and we might even have stragglers Thursday and Friday. 
Small craft advisories also up for Maui County and the Big Island as we have that increase in trades, but we'll certainly take it. So Mariners just be careful if you head out there. This is going to be the trend through tomorrow. And then Friday, we'll start to lose our trades once again and give way to lighter easterlies. And we're also going to have a few more showers over the weekend. Nothing heavy, uh, but it may impact your outdoor plans. And the next Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at hopefully falling right back into a moderate to breezy trade wind pattern. And look at the highs. They are getting much warmer. Let's look at our weather. All right, Amber, thank you so much. And thank you for watching CAD TV for News Online. We're also updating the website so you can look for news stories later today and on CAD TV for News at 5, 6, and 10. Have a great day, everyone.